The January transfer window is now open and guess what that means? More transfer window episodes from me about Leeds United, Manchester United, Man City, Arsenal, Chelsea and obviously the whole of the Premier League. Let's see what happens here on the William Ward channel and don't forget to smash the subscribe button because we are reporting live with the latest transfer news for you guys so please do that and most importantly the first one of today, Max Wober. He's a German left back I believe. And now he makes his way to Ellen Road because we have got some news about him that £12 million is on the table for him from Leeds United. That is his fee. And now we see him doing his medical. He has done a medical ahead of the transfer but we shall see Leeds United hopefully confirm in the next few days to a week if we have signed him and hopefully we see him in the next couple of weeks announced by Leeds United officially however like I said before medical is done left back is needed and he is on the table he is on the table so let's see what happens there the next one is Noah Lang eyes up wide open as quick fire Leeds United transfer muted after 26.5 million pound reveal Leeds United could move quickly to seal a deal for, for Club Bruges winger Noah Lang, according to the former Bleacher Report journalist Dean Jones. Now, in the summer transfer window, we were discussing about Noah Lang. However, there were some issues about his attitude and the way he treats others in on the pitch. So, do you want to see him at Leeds United? I don't know because of, obviously, the attitude problem. But could he be a vital part? Just like Tyler Adams, the aggressiveness into the ball and most importantly, attacking. That's what we need, an attacker. Yes, a winger is, you know, going into the left or right side, going in through the middle, passing it to a striker, score. That's what we need. And now we see that. According to the Guardian, Fabrizio Morano also suggested that Lang could leave the club in the January transfer window with £26.5 million likely to be the asking price. Now, do you think he's worth £26.5 million? I'm not sure. I'd probably say £17 million at best. Jones has since revealed 23-year-old Dutch internationals open to the future to the move to the Premier League. If they started to think that things were leaning that way, I think they would probably try to accelerate things their side, he told, give me sports, which was two days ago. At the moment, we don't really know what's going to open up. We know that Noah Lang has ambitions to play in the Premier League. His eyes and ears are open to that when that can happen. It doesn't seem clear that it's going to be right now or not. However, Leeds are still pushing for him. The next one is Leeds United reportedly interested in securing the services of 26-year-old Spanish fullback Alfonso Pedraza. Now, according to La Razon, Premier League side Leeds United are keen to secure in the signature of Rio Real's Alfonso Pedraza in the January transfer window, which is now. The 26-year-old came through the ranks of Stadio de la Ceramica, making his first team bow in 2014-15 season for the Yellow Submarine. He has also since made 147 appearances, which is quite good, for the Spanish club across all competitions scoring 11 goals and assisting 18 more. Now, would you want to see his 26-year-old Spanish fullback Alfonso coming to Ellen Road, coming to Leeds United to help us out, and especially, especially getting him over the line, back, bolster that back line. Obviously, Max Woba, I did say, is coming. Fingers crossed he will be over the line. Yes, he did his medical, but in terms of this player here, 26 is not too young, not too old, but the experience is needed at Leeds United. I think we lack that a lot, and now we should see what happens there if Alfonso is making his way over to Leeds United. We all know Rafinha has been struggling at Barcelona. What are your thoughts on this? Because at Leeds he was doing quite well. I loved him at Leeds. Now you see that he is struggling on that form. But will he come back to Ellen Road? According to Leeds Live, Leeds United News, as White's told, Rafinha would reject Ellen Road return amid transfer links. Leeds United told Rafinha would turn down Ellen Road return. Former Premier League Alan Hutton believes Rafinha would rule out the return to Ellen Road as transfer speculation surrounding his future be begins to mount. The Brazilian international secured his dream move to Barcelona in the summer, but has struggled to adapt to life in Spain. Well, obviously, 
Leeds thought they agreed a deal with Chelsea in the summer, but the Brazilian winger had his heart set to move to Now Camp, and reports of return to the top flight English football are beginning to circle. Now, where would he go in, in the Premier League? I want him to come back. He just creates so much creativity on, on the pitch. But who knows? I really, I really wish it came back, but unfortunately... Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It, it is what it is at the end of the day. Jesse Marsh believes Leeds United have enough quality to avoid being drawn in the Premier League relegation battle. Obviously, we got that point from Newcastle the other day, which was very controversial. How many fouls? You know, Joe Linton striking Mark Rocket in the face. That should be an instant red because of an act of violence. And the amount of fouls that they committed on us, absolute joke on that form. But... Jesse Marsh thinks that we are safe from the pre from the relegation zone, but we shall see in the next four or five games if we win them. We need to beat West Ham, but next we need to make sure we get new players over the line. Now the next one is Kai Wagner. These names keep coming up. Kai Wagner, Noah Lang, the lot. We need to make sure that we are signing these players now in the summer transfer window that we Missed out on Kai Wagner. Obviously, he's a left back. Leeds United reportedly interested in signing Philadelphia Union defender Kai Wagner. Leeds United said to be keen in landing the Philadelphia Union fullback Kai Wagner in January transfer window, which is now. The Whites have just seen just one senior left back in their squad in Junior Furpo, who has rarely featured this season due to his injury. Now, I feel sorry for Junior Furpo, but when he comes back, he's just not as good. He's not the quality that we need. He's just misses all the time the chances the, the tackles everything i just feel sorry for him he's a good player but he's not premier league worthy i don't think i don't think he's up for the task because the a defender's supposed to defend and, and same with urente i think urente furpo should go them two should go and i feel like cock could be a backup potentially for the new signing but keep strauch strauch has done a good job i believe and definitely worth that renewal of his contract. So do you want to see Kai Wagner head over to Leeds United this month? Let me know down in the comments down below. The next one is, of course, Shay Adams. We were in the links with him in, in the summer transfer window. But now we see links again. Leeds United are believed to be interested in Southampton striker Shay Adams. And they have now been told that he would seriously consider a move to Ellen Road. Well, 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 this is very interesting indeed. As per the athletic journalist Phil Hay recently detailed a move that Adams should not be discounted in January, as he is someone who has discussed for a transfer switch by Leeds Chiefs before. Wow, wow, wowdy wow. Here we go. Football Insider report that the Whites registered their interest in the signing of the Scotland International in the summer after having a bid just shy of a £20 million rejected way back in January 2020 when Marcelo Bielsa was in was still at the helm now this is very very interesting do you think Shea Adams could improve Leeds United and attack him forward maybe I feel like it it could be a good good signing Shea Adams got regular football he doesn't at the moment and I reckon he could be a star talisman at Leeds United I think yes a lot of people will say on here why why Shea Adams well He's got the strength, he's got the speed, he's got the finishing, but the only thing is lacking consistency. But at Ellen Road, maybe he, can, maybe he can improve himself, get adapt around the players. Jesse Marsh's formations, or the diamond formation as Jesse Marsh calls it, and improve the squad, score goals for us. Because I reckon £20 million back then, now I reckon £13, £12 million here now at this point in time, I think he's worth that. But... We shall see. Will he switch over to Leeds United it, this month? I'm excited. I'm really excited for that. And, that. and that is it. All the latest Leeds United news here today. But now we move on to the next videos tomorrow. I'll see you in another transfer window episode. More Leeds United content. More Manchester United. Arsenal. Chelsea. The lot. We're talking about many football clubs. But obviously Leeds United is the focus. You might start to see more Leeds United content. But stick with me, slash, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in another transfer episode tomorrow. See you later.